Hey guys and welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, you might want to think about subscribing. I've got lots and lots of running related content. Today, I've got something a little different for you. So for all you music lovers out there, today I'm going to be documenting some of my favourite running music selections. I really love listening to music whilst out running, whether it be roads, pavements, trails, beaches. I just love grabbing the power beats and getting out there. So what do I look for in terms of music whilst running? Well, sometimes it might be something to keep my mood up if the weather isn't too hospitable or it's cold and unpleasant. Sometimes it's about pace and speed and something dynamic to get myself in the right place in terms of adrenaline for perhaps a harder effort. Other times you just want those pleasant, nice, upbeat tracks for those beautiful sunny days. So on to my selections. Just so you know, I own a number of these albums on vinyl. Obviously, whilst out running, listening to vinyl is not really feasible. So you'd probably be skipping around, you know. You probably wouldn't do the records any good either. You'd have to take a big backpack with you and store them in. That'd be weird. But typically, whilst out running, I'm listening to music via my iPhone or I put a load of music across to my Apple Watch um, so that I can listen to it via Bluetooth through to my earphones. So for those days where I'm hitting higher paces, like uh, intervals or speed work, something like that, I tend to reach for this album by Fontaine's DC. It's called Doggerel. I really love this Dublin bass band. They're a five piece, drums, bass, two guitars, vocals, nice and simple kind of setup of the band. There's certainly leanings of this group towards uh, bands like Television or perhaps The Strokes or certainly Joy Division. I can certainly hear them within some of Fontaine's DC's work. There's a real cracking energy to some of their tracks, but I think also like quite an earthy, gritty realism. There's real pounding drums on there and at times some very abrasive guitars. The vocal accent is very regionalized and I really, really love that about this band's sound. Songs like Big or Hurricane Laughter clock in at around about 170 to 175 beats per minute, which is absolutely fantastic if you're looking to increase that cadence uh, if you're doing some type of speed work or interval work or perhaps even a tempo run where you really want to keep that cadence very high. I'm very interested as to how this young band kind of progress uh, as they develop their sound into the future. So I'm really excited to look forward to their second album. Hopefully that will come out very soon. There's far more than just drawn out kind of overdriven reverb drenched guitars here though. There's a very well written visual aspect to the lyrics. A real atmosphere is created by the clever use of vocabulary and word selection. But of course, we're not always running at fast paces or with very high cadence. On those more introspective sort of days, I often turn towards the sometimes overlooked but never forgotten once discovered Nick Drake. There's a real sad story behind Nick Drake, really. A very overlooked singer, songwriter from the late 60s. He was a really innovative guitar player. I um, remember hearing stories about him detuning all of the strings and then just sort of randomly retuning them into an open tuning all of his own. There's a lot of mythology about him, I think, because so few kind of interviews or any real video or anything exists. I'm going to try and steer clear of that. I think it detracts from some of his songs. My favourite of his three key solo albums is that of Brighter Later. This is a magical, very gentle folk album with tinges of jazz and even some classical leanings. The album's kind of bookended by very relaxed pieces. There's an introduction that kind of sets the scene for the album and a quiet outro called Sunday. Almost feeling like the album's kind of like a week, perhaps in Nick's life, perhaps while he was in the city in London. This being the most produced of Nick's three albums, it kind of feels like his city album, I guess. That side, it still features some really fragile songs. There's some real beauty there in some of the songwriting. It feels very, very natural. It feels very calming. I think if you're somebody that struggles with breathing uh, or perhaps gets a little panicky during running, then this could be a really great album for you. It just brings over a sense of calm, uh, a very relaxing kind of feel. I think the way Nick delivers some of the lyrics on this album can't help but make you feel calm and very relaxed. Beautiful songs like Fly and Northern Sky are real standouts on this album. But do check out some of his other albums, cuts like uh, River Man, From the Morning, 
which stay in kind of an upbeat kind of category. Some of his more melancholy efforts really don't work that well for a kind of running or an active sort of scenario. I love John Coltrane and his album Favourite Things is certainly one of my favourites. It really is a very natural, magical album. The lovely warm and simple production from this 1961 album is really perfect for running. That side, the centrepiece of this album probably isn't going to appeal to all of you. The instrumental structure of the title piece kind of keeps returning to those very common and well-known hooks. And I really, really love this album for long runs. It allows me to focus on the music, perhaps taking my mind away from other thoughts like fatigue, perhaps how thirsty I am or how hungry I am. And I'm always hungry. I've got a really fast metabolism, so I'm always wanting to eat. Other cuts on the album are still calming and relaxed, but a little more concise. One for the long runs, the higher mileage, and the lower paced efforts. Fitting into that category is really anything from Kurt Vile. I love his albums from a relaxed and a groove base perspective. His chill draw kind of draws you into some of his more lengthy efforts and really does help to take your attention away perhaps from your tired legs. Cuts like Bottle It In and Wheelhouse are super mellow and relaxed, but he's also capable of more concise pop-like efforts such as Loading Zones or his gorgeous cover of Rolling With The Flow. He did a fantastic collaboration as well with the Australian artist Courtney Barnett. Standout tracks on that album are Over Everything and Continental Breakfast. Do check that one out, it's really beautiful. Please do go and check out Kurt Vile right away. A really fantastic and very individual musician. And that leads me very, very smoothly onto The War on Drugs. So Kurt Vile used to be a member of The War on Drugs. It's really now a solo effort for Adam Grandusil. The differences are quite striking though between the two different sounds. The War on Drugs have a much richer, full production style. Big drums and often 80s drum machine sounds, punctuated by kind of pulsating synths and big multi-tracked acoustic or sometimes electric guitar sounds. Standouts on this album are Holding On and Nothing To Find. Some of these tracks are often six to seven minutes long. So they're really ideal for running if you're trying to perhaps pace yourself. They kind of fit quite nicely into sort of mile brackets. It really allows the songs to kind of evolve over time. Apparently Adam Grandusil changed his whole lifestyle while he was producing this album. He cut out sort of alcohol and started doing more exercise and things. I think it's actually quite apparent within the sound of the tracks. It feels like there's lots of space in some of the tunes, even though the production is very big. So please go and check out some of those albums. I think you'll enjoy them. I'll do another one of these videos, perhaps a little closer to Christmas, with some of the stuff I've been listening to during the autumn period. Please comment below about some of your favorite musical selections whilst running. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up like. Please share it with any running friends. My name's Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you.